So here's an excerpt of our... Adventures in Disneyland. Yeah, we stayed there for almost 24 hours. 22 hours exactly. Hi, this is episode four of my weekly bitch. Getting it to spend almost 24 hours in Disneyland. This is what we look like now. Ask us what we look like at 6 a.m. tomorrow. So we'll, you know, we'll keep you posted on our day's events. Right now we're smiling. Right. Now. Ladies and gentlemen, there will be no more boarding. We're starting to drink now. We're at the bar. And that's Disneyland behind us. Well, California Adventure. We've been at Disneyland for look two at, hours, look at, look at and all we've done is drink. We haven't even ridden a ride. Dog. Oh my god, look dog. at the, that person has a weird dog. dog. A hot dog. hot dog. They have a hot dog. We've, Actually, we've, I want a puppy really bad. I think you should get a puppy. My parents won't let me. They're too expensive. <laughs> and we're already and annoyed. And we're already annoyed, because it's fucking packed. And by that, we mean you have to wait like 40 minutes for a ride, but we're used to coming when no one's here. And they're I'll, screaming children. Lots of fucking children, and they're so annoying. Don't people have school? So much school. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, he thinks, he thinks it's funny. <laughs> and it's what else? It's the middle of the week. It is the middle of the week. What are all these children doing here in Disneyland? It's ridiculous. It doesn't matter what kind of person you are, everybody likes Disney. Well, we have found lots of very attractive people. Yeah, but they're all hipsters. They are, a lot of hipsters here, but our goal is to find our Prince Charming. She's got like a fucking pumpkin on the side of her leg. You have to be kidding me. Disneyland clearly attracts all types of fucking people. Look at her, I actually don't know if that's a woman, it could be a man. Anyone eat one of those giant pickles before? Who buys those? I've had a pickle at Disneyland. They're great. Are you not when I was here with you? I always have pickles in my mouth. Well, that I already know. <laughs> Drunk and Ross and I waited in line for 45 minutes for a stupid fucking hoodie. I hope you enjoyed our <laughs> little minimal clip to Disneyland. It was actually a lot of fun. It was a lot. lot of fun. There were like over 100,000 people there. They had no idea what to expect. Everyone was drinking and on drugs and lines for like three hours. But I mean, like, the atmosphere was just so cool. Like it was diehard Disney fans. And, but I did, water. I actually became a total loser when I made us wait 45 minutes in a line for a sweater. But but it's okay because there were also like 600 other people in the same line. So I guess it wasn't like that pathetic. Waiting. The point is it was advertising about how we stayed up for 24 hours to go to Disneyland. And they, only selling, they were only selling it on that day. So... I'm awesome. Yeah, and they sold out of sweatshirts. <laughs> I well, I fly Southwest, and it never ceases to amaze me. Never. How people can't fucking figure out how to board a Southwest flight. Now, I'm pretty sure 95% of the American people have graduated from kindergarten, right? And if you have, you learned A through Z and 1 through 10 at least, right? So I don't understand how someone can't figure out that on their boarding pass it says A1. I mean, you're the first person on the plane. There are three groups, A, B, C. B follows A, C follows B. Two comes after one. It's really not that hard. I just think Southwest should buck up and just do assigned seating like everybody else. Oh, I hate assigned seating. I like that I could go and sit where I want and I can choose who I sit with, more or less. Oh, well, duh, because you are always scoping out everywhere. I am. I like to, I'd like to think that I'll be sitting on a plane one day and fall hopelessly in love oh, and then become part of the Mile High Club. Yeah, but what is that? Okay, but those are two different dreams. What? Mile High Club and falling in love don't really... I mean, they could happen on the same flight, but the chances are very, like... Mm. That's why you're going to die alone. <laughs> <laughs> Rush Limbaugh this week had some interesting things to say about women. He basically called any woman that has sex in college a slut and a prostitute and that taxpayers are their pimps. Good job, Rush Limbaugh. Yeah, you never cease to amaze the American people. <laughs> I mean, like... Just like I'm dumbfounded at the way people can't board a Southwest flight, I'm dumbfounded that you keep saying dumb things. Well, I'm sure Rush Limbaugh would have a lot to say about our next subject, um, Snooky. She is Snooky? Snooky. Snooky. Snooky, 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 Snooky. You know who we're talking about. Um, she is pregnant and supposedly getting married. The fact that Snooky is pregnant, I think, is hysterical. Talk about, you need an ad campaign for contraceptive use? That should be it right there. And then you post a child. I feel like her child's going to look like an Ewok. <laughs> <laughs> I, th I mean, like, I'm all for women's choice, but I mean, like, Snooky, you should just You should do what your ex-boyfriend said to, on TMZ and get it vacuumed out. What she said. 
I Kirk Cameron was on Piers Morgan this week, and he said that homosexuality is unnatural and sinful. He has six children. He has six kids, yeah. One of them is going to be gay, yeah, I, and he's going to be shot. He's going to shoot himself in the foot. Well, they asked him. They're like, well, you have six children. Like, statistically speaking, one of your children is probably gay. And he was like, well, if my child was gay, we would have to have a conversation about, you know, the reasoning behind it and blah, 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 blah. I hope all your children are gay. I hope they're all big, dykey lesbians and flaming <laughs> homosexuals. And I want to know what you're going to do about it. I wonder which one of my siblings is going to be gay. There's six of us. Yeah, I already know the answer to that question. <laughs> oh, he talked about defining marriage and that marriage was defined by Adam and Eve. Oh, God. I was Here we like, go again. really? I'm like, you were there when Adam and Eve defined marriage? Really? Is he like a born again? Yes. Huge, huge Bible thumper. Huge. Jesus freak, whatever. He is. He sucks Jesus' cock. But that's not gay because it was Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> This show sucks today. Oh my god, I don't really know. We're in a funk. It was, it's been a weird day. We're cycling. You know how that works. Um, <laughs> um, a woman sold a chicken McNugget for $8,000 because she thinks, and apparently the person who bought Actually, it. Actually, I saw a picture of it and it did kind of look like it, but I don't think I'd pay. We haven't even said what it oh, is sorry. yet. <laughs> she thinks that it looks like George Washington. Who paid $8,000 for a chicken McNugget that's been frozen? You know, people have paid for ghosts on eBay. Ghosts There's a reason eBay. why other countries look at our country and they're like, Americans are fucking idiots. <laughs> Reasons why. Rockmore Publix are now sold at, sold at Kohl's. <laughs> people don't know how to board Southwest flights. We live in a kindergarten country. We live in a kindergarten country. It's true. This week's Bitch of the Week is us because... We suck. We suck today. Yeah, we do. We were unprepared. Well, we were prepared, but we're just... We're just angsty. We're cycling. My grandparents are in town. I was in New Mexico for a week. And I'm failing my second visa. I'm proud of myself that I'm not a huge whore anymore. Go flat. Right? Yeah. We don't have a bitch of the week this week. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, we'll see you next week. <laughs>